hey you guys it's dolores welcome back to my channel as you can tell today's video is a shein haul or shine as i like to call them which i know is so ghetto but honey that's what sounds good to me so we are doing a shine haul today you guys i have so much stuff y'all and it darn near took me six months to get it i mean if you guys have ordered from shine recently then i'm pretty sure you're aware that they're taking forever to deliver this stuff i don't know if they wait until i order it to make the clothes or what but I still have a package from April 24th that I have not gotten. I so wanted to review it with you guys because there's a swimsuit in there that I've seen everybody with. You may have seen it before. It's like a lime green fishnet swimsuit, but I did not want to wait any longer, honey, because y'all know that customer service is trash. So who knows when they're going to get back to me about where my stuff is, but I still have quite a few outfits that I purchased, a lot of shoes a lot of purses, jewelry, headbands, all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to show you guys each piece, show you a video of me trying it on, as well as a small little picture of what it actually looks like on the Shine website, just so you can kind of compare what it looks like on there versus what you're gonna get. Um, most of the shoes I am gonna be wearing in the video, all the shoes and the try-ons are from Shine. And then I'll have a few more shoes that I'll show you guys at the end, but without further ado let's get started we buying these clothes we got to take into account what the model looks like and what we look like okay because some of us are getting upset at these folks saying that they have false advertising or stuff don't fit when really it's just us okay now the model has an hourglass shape in this outfit and it looks amazing on her i have an hourglass shape and it's under a whole bunch of quarantine food okay so right now it's not looking real hourglassy. I'm I'm looking a little bit like a cereal box. And I had to just be honest with myself and, and know that. So I don't expect it to feel like the model, but I'm still excited to try it on and see if it'll at least um, accentuate my curves or if it's just gonna make me look like um a can of peas. So this first piece, I am honestly taking a serious risk with. I usually don't buy two piece sets, but this is one of them. Um, this is a skirt and top set and honey, I got it all the wrong way. This is a super long skirt. And normally this would fit like very like bodycon like, but I think I may have ordered this a little bit too big. Um, I did get in a 4X because it did look kind of tight on the model, but honey, look at how much stretch is in this skirt. Like literally, there's so much stretch in it. So I would definitely recommend sizing down on this one. Even though I haven't tried it on yet, I can already just tell that it's gonna be way too stretchy to fit like how it does on the model. Now it does come with this top um, and this is the top. Okay, that's the bottom. This is the top. Honey, the gag is this is the top. Why is this so complicated? Now this does come with a belt. So the belt you would normally, from what I saw in the model, wrap around to the front, then tie in the back. So we're going to see if we can do that. This is super long, so I'm assuming that this will fit even if you have a heavy bust. Now, the only thing is that I'm concerned that when I try to tie this, it's gonna be super low cut. I mean, I generally don't like having my boobs out that much, um, but some people are okay with that. For me, I personally like to be a little bit more covered up. So I am interested to see how this is gonna be coverage wise, but the top also feels like it has a lot of room in it too. So I'm pretty excited to try this on. Um, I have high hopes for it. Not sure that I'm gonna love it, but I know that I love the print. It feels amazing. So we're gonna see how this one turns out. Like I already told y'all, this definitely is not gonna look like on me the way that it looks on the model, because even though I do have a curve, a shape, I still got a whole bunch of um, other stuff going on in these areas. So between love handles and the tummy, it doesn't fit the same way, but I still do like it. Cause I feel like this places a lot of emphasis on the stomach area. Um, and depending on how your body is shaped, you still may be big up top and on the bottom, but have a flatter stomach. So I do like the fact that it is a two piece. I think the print is so cute, especially if you're going on vacation or something like that. Um, it, it's not extremely low cut. This can be fixed and it does tie around the front and the back. Um, on the model, she has a tie to the back, but when I tried to tie it to the back, honey, it wasn't enough belt for that, okay? <laughs> so I tied it to the back once, then tied it to the front and, tie, and that didn't look right. So I just tucked it underneath. Um, here's a side view. It does make the booty look a little good, but again, all the stomach, I don't like that. Um, also, I have on those clear shoes that I showed you guys that are super cute. 
and it feels good. I will say that the fabric is a little thin. So if I was gonna wear this outside, I would definitely put on a slip or something underneath it or maybe some biker shorts or like some thin anti-chafing shorts. I would wear those, but other than that, I really do like this. Um, and I do have it pulled up a little bit higher, but I do like the way that it fits. And it's extremely comfortable and breathable, so you can wear it on a hot day. Just to not have to deal with the cleavage issue, I might even put on like a bandeau top underneath. But I think that if you like this, you should definitely go for it. Um, it's very comfortable, and I think it'll look cute on anybody, no matter what your size. Now, the next piece is this really pretty leaf print romper that I actually saw on Shine's website. I didn't pay any attention to it because I felt like it wasn't going to fit me that well. But on the Shine Curve um, Instagram page, I saw them repost a lady that actually had this on and it looks so cute on her. Now, the fabric is not stretchy at all. It does have an elastic waistband, so you will get some room right here. But as regards the boob area, this does not stretch. So I got this in a 3X. I'm not sure that was the right size to get now that I actually have it, but I do know that it'll at least stretch right here. Um, For reference, you guys, my measurements are 51, 45, 53. So I ordered it according to that. We gonna see whether or not it works. The one thing I do love about this and the reason why I would totally recommend it, I'll see if I can like put this back some, is that it has these flaps in the front of the shorts. So especially if like your stomach is an area where you don't feel the most comfortable or you kind of just try to hide it. Listen, honey, first of all, these stomachs not going nowhere, okay? We on lockdown, all we can do is eat. I know I've been eating all the lockdown food since the lockdown started. So I can't worry about <laughs> losing any weight right now. So I really love the fact that it has this flap in the front. These are what the shorts look like normally. And then it has this flap that just kind of covers the front of that. So I think that's going to look so cute when you actually try it on. Because sometimes rompers can fit really weird if you have a belly. But I like the fact that that gives you a little bit of extra coverage. So I am very excited to try this on. Especially since this print is so tropical. And honey, I'm stuck in the hood. So this is about the closest I'm going to get to some palm trees in the near future. Okay, you guys. So this is the romper. And I would definitely say size up on this. I got a 3X thinking that this would fit me. And y'all, I'm out of breath because it darn near took me 30 minutes to put this romper on. It was fine getting it all the way up, but then trying to put my both my arms in it, not even at the same time, one arm and then the next. You literally had to pull it all the way up and then try to like basically darn near dislocate your shoulder to put the other arm in. So I looked on the website and the measurements really aren't too different for the next size up. So I can't necessarily say that it's going to fit a whole lot better. Um, like I said, this is the 3X. But overall, I do like it. The one thing that I really love, and I will get closer so you guys can see this, is the fact that it has these flaps in the front. So, like I said, if you're like me, and maybe your, your stomach is a problem area, I don't necessarily want that poking out for like the world to see that I have a food baby going on. So these flaps are just so cute in the front where they kind of like disguise all that stomach um, area going on. Now, I have these little neon print shoes on with this. These aren't necessarily the shoes that I would wear, but I did want to at least show you guys what they look like. They are so cute, and I love it with this little neon print bag. So this is just an idea. If you wanted to put something this color with it, I think the shoes, if you can see them, the shoes and the purse together are so cute. And it has this little strap on it. But y'all know this strap don't be staying on my shoulder. But yeah, that's like adorable. I love that as an outfit. Um, I did manage to bend the heel in on this shoe. So keep that in mind. First of all, these shoes are hard as heck to get on. Secondly, the shoe bent when I was trying to pull up the straps. But I was supporting all, like, not all of my weight. But I was sitting down but putting a lot of weight on this shoe. So the strap, the um, heel has bent in a little bit. And I don't like that because these shoes were $30. So keep that in mind when you're buying them. But overall, my voice is, y'all, my voice is breaking because I'm so darn tired from putting this thing on. But overall, I do like this though. Y'all, I have to take me a little break because I already know it's going to take me about four hours to take this romper off. Now, my mama is not coming back up here again. She done already told me to stop fooling with shine and I have refused to do so. Um, and now I'm just going to have to struggle for myself. So 
pray for me y'all by this by the time y'all see this i would have hopefully gotten out of this mug but if not then god dog i just i guess i'm gonna have to wear this for the rest of my life or cut myself out of it because i just tried to take my arm out of it and that bad boy made a sound i ain't never heard before so we're just gonna sit here and think about it for a little minute i'm gonna brainstorm some ideas to get out of this thing and then we'll continue with the video okay you guys so i am so in love with this next dress now i have actually worn this before i haven't worn it to go anywhere but i wore it um in a photo shoot and i originally saw this dress on instagram um on another plus size influencer and i just think this is the cutest thing like these little tiny floral prints is what's currently in right now so this is just a short sleeve fit and flare dress. It does have an elastic waist, which is awesome. I mean, there's a lot of stretch in here. I am a little bit concerned to see how it fits in the bust area again, because I find that a lot of stuff I get from Shine never fits me in the bust area. But this does seem to be very stretchy. And of course the bottom of it flares out. So you really won't have to worry about stretch there. But um, I bought this to go with a green purse and a white pair of shoes. So I will try this on all together and let you guys judge whether or not it's a hit or a miss. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love this green dress. This is so cute. And of course, I put it with this green bamboo purse that I told you guys I was going to put it with. And these white black heels, if you guys can see them, which are the same as the black ones. But this dress fits so amazing. Um, I have worn this dress one time before to take pictures in, but it's not like I've worn the dress enough to stretch it out, but there's a lot of room in the bust area. Of course, I do have my safety pin up here. So if you don't, then all this is gonna be popping out, but the dress has a lot of stretch in the waistband area. Um, the arms feel good. I love the way that it fits. And I really love the way that the purse goes with it. Like, honey, get into this bamboo purse. That is so cute. And of course, like I said, the shoes are extremely comfortable. The dress is a little bit on the short side, so I would be nervous on a windy day if I'm walking outside, like whether or not this is gonna flip up and flash everybody. But other than that, honey, yes, this dress is so cute. I love it, I'm a fan. Okay, you guys, so the next item up is this beautiful t-shirt. And let me tell y'all, this is the first t-shirt that I done bought from Shine that I didn't feel like was going to exfoliate my skin, okay? I ain't gonna lie, some of this stuff is real scratchy, like real rough on the skin, but this feels so good. Like, I wish you guys could see just how thick this t-shirt is it honestly feels like a premium t-shirt and i got this during a shine flash sale it does say curve so that's another thing that i love i got this during a shine flash sale for maybe four dollars so if you guys do not shop those sales you absolutely need to um they're usually on the curve and plus page right at the top you can see the outfits that they have for the current flash sale and the outfits coming the next day and you can actually set a notification to be reminded when the sale starts so this is one of the pieces I picked up for $4 and I'm actually going to pair it with this skirt. It's almost like a Dalmatian print. I know it's called something else, but I can't remember. And I love the fact that this skirt has an elastic waistband. Um, again, most of the clothes that I've ordered are in either a three or four X and it's super long. I love this. So even though the t-shirt is, it just fits like, um, what do you call it? Like waist length or whatever. I actually plan on tying a knot in it in the front. So hopefully the knot stays. I'm not sure if it will, but I want to have like a little bit of skin showing, then have this skirt on and pair it with like a cute pair of shoes and a purse for a really pretty summer look. So let's see how this one looks. You guys, I totally love this top and this skirt. Honestly, this is one of the best feeling t-shirts I've ever gotten from Shine before. I'm used to their stuff feeling like sandpaper, okay? No shade to Shine, but y'all stuff be feeling real scratchy on my skin but this honestly feels like a premium t-shirt it's extremely soft i haven't even washed it or anything like that and it just feels really good the skirt is definitely um kind of stretchy you know how you can have those skirts that are elastic in the waistband but it has a lining on the inside and the lining can actually be what fits tight that's how that skirt can go fortunately for me it doesn't feel extremely tight on the inside um but the lining and the waistband itself are pretty stretchy now you can totally wear this skirt with something else if you want to you don't have to wear it with this top but this is how i wanted the outfit to go um i have on my pink heels but i actually plan on wearing this with some mustard heels that i have downstairs 
and this is the exact outfit that I wanted it to be um, and I wanted to pull my hair up with it but now that I'm looking at it this purse also goes with this as well so I definitely love this I mean because this is such a unique purse and I think it's nice to pair it with something that's also like a neutral tone but this is so cute and again I feel like this skirt fits really well um like I feel like if I wanted to act like dance throw it back or whatever and the top oh let me not die y'all the top is definitely stretchy and I don't think it looks cheap either and I love the fact that it says curve represent for the curvy girls so if this comes back in stock you guys definitely should get it um I think either one of these purses will go with it and this goes with any type of shoes that you have so I definitely love the way that this one turned out Y'all, let me just say this. I already feel, I feel it deep within my spirit that this is not going to work out, honey. I just, some tell me not to try this dress on because this bad boy already feels tight in the neck. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, then you just don't like, I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like nothing that does none of these knots in the front of my neck. I don't like none of that. Um, I don't know why I just be feeling like I'm about to suffocate or like, you know, if I move my head one way, then it's just going to be like choking me. And that is this type of dress. Um, already this dress don't have no stretch y'all. I love that. The, it also has this like flutter sleeve, like this flutter puff sleeve. And it is another fit and flare dress. But there is absolutely no stretch in this dress either. And at least the one that's off the shoulder, it does kind of have like elastic at the top of the shoulder. So that kind of fits. I'm worried about the arms in that one. But with this one, this doesn't have elastic anywhere. And I ain't gonna lie, the arms do not seem to be that wide. Um, overall, I don't, well, God dog, they outside honking up a storm, okay? see y'all okay anyway sorry y'all um yeah i don't have high hopes for this one i saw mixed reviews online about it but i still wanted to order it because it was only 11 dollars. <sighs> but honey we about to see y'all i done tried this yellow dress on and i am stuck in this bad boy i don't know what type of hanky panky that shine is on but this is not what the measurement stated. I went according, exactly according to the measurements. And I cannot get this bad boy from over my shoulders. I managed to put both my arms in, but I couldn't pull it down. And now I can't pull it back up. And this is just, I have been, I don't know what type of wild goose chase shine is trying to send me on. But I have been hoodwinked, led astray, bamboozled, lied to, cheated to all of that like shine have literally took my little coin and, and sent me this dress that said 4x but they must have been a size four okay and i didn't get hot i got a little hungry i just it's too mom i need help mom you know what to try on this blue polka dot off the shoulder dress that I finally was able to get. Now this did sell out of my size for like three days and I was able to finally get it. Look at these really pretty puff sleeves. And it can either fit off your shoulder like this or you can pull it up like this. But look at the buttons in the front. Oh my God, I love this. Now this dress falls definitely below the knee. Um, I don't think it's ankle length, but I do know that it is a below the knee dress. I think it's so adorable though. I've seen this on Instagram so many times and it just looks very feminine, very cute. But honey, listen, this dress don't have not one shred of elastic in it, okay? So I am nervous as to how this is gonna fit. I did get it in a 4X, but y'all look, sometimes shine be on China sizes. I'm not even lying. And they say 4X and it's really like a size four or 14. So we shall see how this fits. But I am a little concerned about the bust area because of the fact that there's no stretch. And that's usually a problem for me. But I have a very high hopes for this and I really hope it works out. I am absolutely in love with this blue dress. Now, I will say that there is no stretch in this bad boy. Um, the waistband is not elastic whatsoever. So this is quite tight on me. Um, and there, cause there was a button there and I didn't even know it, honey, cause that bad boy was flipped over. So I will say that you definitely want to order your exact measurements in this or even go up 
a little bit in the waist if you need to. I got this in a 4X and the sleeves do fit. And I love the entire way that this dress is made. And the bottom fits, but it's definitely tight across the chest area. Now, again, I do have on these same black block heels with this. And of course, this super cute purse. This is actually the purse, um, the dress that I wanted this purse to go with. And the reason why I bought the black shoes. They just happen to match other stuff that I have. But, oh my God, get into these sleeves. Especially pull your hair back and do one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is so cute. Well, outside of the back rolls and all that other stuff, I will say that this dress is adorable. Um, again, size up if you can because it definitely fits small in the waist. But I love the dress otherwise. And you can adjust the shoulders. If you want to pull them down further, you can. If you want to pull them up, you can do that as well. So yeah, this dress is definitely a win. Okay, so we are finally at the last dress that I got, you guys. And I actually really like this one. I think this is so cute. It's a really plain um, black and mustard asymmetrical pleated dress. Nothing to write home about, but y'all know I'm literally a sucker for anything with pleats. I think they're so cute. They're so feminine. I feel like they add a little bit of razzle-dazzle to a plain dress. And I do like the fact that this is um, on an asymmetrical print. Now, I will say Shine is like changing the game because I bought a dress just like this at ASOS. Only the bottom was pink and I paid $48 for it. So to get this dress on Shine for like $20 plus my little coupon is definitely a steal. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be a little bit low cut. I don't think that I'll have a problem with the fitting because in this dress... Um, where the elastic is is right under the bust line so i do know that it will fit right there but i am concerned as to how it's going to be when it comes to cleavage and boobies popping out now the sleeves the the um sleeves on the dress look a little big they don't have like um a rough a ruffle or anything in them there is a little bit of stitching on the side but i am kind of like concerned to see whether or not this is actually gonna fit my arm but you know my little fat arm it seems like it's gonna fit in there so Let's see how this last dress turns out. I actually love it. Um, it doesn't fit big like I thought it would. I actually have a lot of room in the bust area. I will say this one is a little bit low cut. So I will wear a black cami underneath it. But other than that, it fits really good. It has a lot of stretch, um, especially in the bust area. There's like a little elastic waistband right there. And I did uh, pair it with these black black heels that I showed you guys. So I love this. And both of the purses that I got go with this dress. So I can either wear the yellow purse that I showed you guys, which is cute. Um, me personally, I think I like the black purse a little more. I think this is so adorable. So, and this dress you can wear in summer, fall, winter, or spring because it has long sleeves, which are still lightweight and the arms are not tight, honey. I got fat arms. So once something is tight on my arms, it's a wrap. But yeah, I love this one a lot. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see it. But this is definitely cute. This one is a win. Now, to me, Shine reminds me, of, their jewelry reminds me of stuff from eBay. And of course, you can find the same stuff that Shine has on eBay for way cheaper. But if you don't feel like doing all that digging and trying to find the stuff, then definitely get it from Shine. Um, I found some really, really pretty headbands from them. And this is one of them. This is absolutely gorgeous. I did wear this in a photo that I posted on my Instagram a few days ago. So that's number one. Now this one I really love. This one was $5. Look how cute this double headband is. I'm going to see if I can try it on right now without messing up. Oh, Lord. My little crispy twist. That is so cute. Oh, my God. Can y'all please get this? This is adorable. I love the two-tier headband. And again, you guys, this was only $5. So, I mean, it's summertime. You want to pull your hair back. Even though we can't really go out the house like that, we can still look cute, you know. So, this is another headband I got. Um, this is like all the rage. These not at the top headbands. Everybody named Mama got one of these. So, I decided to jump on the bandwagon and get me a few. I think I got two of these for $4. So, this is a pink one. And then I also got a floral headband. Now this one, it actually goes in the front of your head and ties in the back. So, I mean, if we were having festivals and Coachella and stuff like that, this would be so perfect. And I think this is just adorable. 
this is so cute this was three dollars i want to say and i will include this in a link below so that you guys can get it directly but this is under five dollars and i love this yes this is so cute and now mind you I, oh uh-uh this not that cute no more mm -mm, i don't like that <laughs> make sure that it, you have a hairstyle in your head that's not gonna get snatched out um now i have two more headbands that i got this one you can also see in my instagram um post i am wearing a fuchsia dress and i have a bouquet of flowers in my hand um and i have this on the top of my hair now i love this one. Oh my god tell me this is not cute with a middle part even if you have like your hair in the side part Oh my God, I love this, you guys. This one was maybe $3 too. So this is one of them. I can take that out, cool. And then this was the last one, um, which is just a pearl headband. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, I have two more headbands from them. I don't know where they are, sorry in advance, but uh, the pink one that I showed you guys with the pearl on it, I got the black version of that. And then I have the same headband again in black with instead of just pearls, it has, um, rhinestones on it like this so it's a mixture of pearls and rhinestones when i find those i will show you them at some point in time um now i also got a whole bunch of jewelry y'all shine is the plug for the jewelry okay now i did get these socks this is i saw an influencer with these socks on like these sheer socks that you put on and i'll show you guys what they look like on my hand and this is supposed to be a two-pack with gray and black. Um, these have stars on them, but they have some that have like glitter, other stuff. They are super sheer. Wow. Goodness, this is my first time trying these on. I don't know what got in my eye, but honey, I'm trying not to get up because again, y'all know I ain't got no pants on. So we're gonna be stuck here no matter what happens. Now these are so pretty. They should, they're one size fit all. So they should be able to fit on anybody's foot, no matter what size you are. Um, look how cute these are. Oh my God. I'm gonna show you on my arm. <clears throat> these are adorable. Like these would be pretty as gloves. Now, I don't know if my arm is bigger than my leg or not, but if these fit up my arm, then these will definitely fit up a leg. And I have big legs. So if they fit up my leg, y'all, then I know they'll fit up your leg. And then let's look at the black one. Um, let's try this with the other arm. I do feel like these are going to be super fragile. Like, all you got to do is snag this bad boy one time. It's just like pantyhose. Once you get a run in them, it's over. There ain't nothing you can do about it. I love the black. Oh, my God. These are so cute. So these are meant to be worn as socks. You can put them on with gym shoes, boots, whatever. Um, but these were a two pack for $3. So I love these. These are definitely cute. And I will also um, link these as well. And let me make sure I put these all the way back in here. Because <clears throat> I do not want these to get a run in them. Because if one of them gets a run in them, then that's basically it for both. Unless you plan on mismatching them. So now back to the jewelry. I love all of these pieces. Y'all, this stuff was so cheap. I'm going to just go through this really quickly. And I I will put all the... Oh my God, my eye is like literally going through something right now. Sorry, y'all. I will put all the jewelry in the link. Um, It should still be available. Even if it's sold out, turn on your shine notifications, okay? Because the stuff always comes back in stock. One pair, I waited like eight months and it finally came back in stock and I got it for $3. So do not let it being sold out discourage you, honey. Turn on the notify me thing and it'll let you know as soon as it comes back. So I got these earrings, which are adorable. I got, y'all, you can't really tell. I got these in green. They're like, you know, your typical like fringe earring, but they have a really pretty um, like gold detailing at the top. And you'll be able to see them a little bit clearer in the links that I'll post. I also got these earrings that I'm currently wearing. And originally these were sold out. When I had them in my cart, I went back and they were sold out. So I added these into my cart and purchased these instead. But then I still ended up getting these because I had my notifications on, y'all. I got these leaf print earrings. 
Now, I will say I bought these earrings from Shine a couple months ago in green, and those bad boys broke the first time I wore them. I do have higher hopes for these. Maybe I just got a really bad pair the first time, but they were only $3, so hopefully these last a little bit longer. Now, let me tell you, I can make a separate video about it if you guys want me to, but I bought some earrings just like this on eBay for $0.79, cent, okay? So if you guys want a video on how to navigate eBay and find deals, then let me know. I also got these earrings from Shine for $2. Now, these are the earrings that they're selling in Target. Again, no shade on Target, but Bobble Bar and a couple other brands are selling stuff like this for $10. No, we're not going to pay that. That's too much money. You can definitely get these things on Shine, eBay, other like um, websites that ship things from Asia. And it'll be like a dollar, okay? Got these really cute hoop earrings. Um, I got quite a few more as well. And I bought all these within like, I want to say three purchases. Because I had to buy stuff as it comes in stock because I miss out on stuff. I'm so indecisive. And then by the time I actually go back and say, okay, I'm going to buy this, it's out of stock. Now, I did get these really pretty earrings. I have been seeing a lot of people wear these. These were like $2 when I got them. And the price may have changed now. Now, these are also some really pretty hoop earrings. I knew I was going to get some twists, y'all, at some point in June. So, I wanted a lot of chunkier earrings that I could wear with them because I feel like that's just so cute. Now, believe it or not, I don't have any hoops. So, this is like my first pair of hoops in years. So, these are like a dollar, y'all. Very cheap um, and expensive. These are adorable. Honestly, these are the cutest. They're much smaller than I expected them to be from what um, I saw on the website, but they are just so cute. Um, and then I just got these in the mail today, actually. I love these. These are like really good chunky statement um, earrings. And then I got this pair. I can't find the mate right now, but I think these are so cute. So the last two pairs of earrings that I got from Shine are these really pretty um, gold and blue ones. And I think these are just so gorgeous. They almost have like that, um, what is it? It's like an abstract acrylic print. And I love that they have, they combine like all the trends right now in one. They have the acrylic print. They have little the little tassels or whatever you want to call them. And like this gold hardware that everybody loves. But my absolute favorite ones, you guys. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. I'm going to link these and I really need y'all to go buy them look how pretty these are like these are so pretty and usually sometimes when you get uh, i don't like to buy um earrings with a whole bunch of rhinestones on them because the rhinestones look really cheap but look at how gorgeous those are these do not look cheap at all oh my god these are so pretty you guys these are five dollars and these are new on shine can y'all please go buy these i think everybody deserves a pair of these earrings because they are so gorgeous now the shoes that i'm not trying on are these these really pretty sunflower like chunky black heel now this is totally giving me 70s vibe and i we recently had a flood in our house and i had a whole bunch of chunky 70s shoes and it was so unexpected it happened out of nowhere the flood and all my shoes that were in the basement got completely wet and i had to throw away like 40 pairs of shoes so honey that's kind of why sean got all of my coin but i really love these shoes they're so playful i love this unique little print i like the chunk sometimes like i said it's big girls high heels can be hard to wear so i like to look for chunky heels and then especially since this is almost four inches this has this platform so it's even more support um now i will say the back is kind of like thin like i feel when i put my foot in it like it's just wanting to like give in but other than that i like the straps are a little flimsy too but other than that the only thing that i don't like is this random like way that they have to tie this shoe like how do you uh, it's like a little thing right here and you literally are supposed to put it through the hole like this and i'm doing this wrong you're supposed to put it through the buckle like this and then buckle it like that but again, when you're a big girl and you got a stomach, I can't be doing all this bending down trying to do stuff with one hand because first of all, my arm is short. I'm already struggling. Barely trying to get this thing in the hole. And especially when you're around people, I'm over here out of breath, seeing stars, trying to hurry up and get this darn shoe buckled up. <laughs> so I don't need to be having no extra stuff I have to go through. So that's my only like just irritation with this shoe. Other than that, I think it's so cute. Then... This is like one of my new favorite shoes. I'm shaking a darn camera. I love this like 
tortoise print or whatever you call it this was like remember when everybody was wearing tortoise print everything last year like um jewelry purses had handles everything was in this print so i think this shoe is so cute and this is perfect for a wide foot like i said my feet are wide and so all the shoes that i got are wide foot friendly except for the one i'm about to show you guys but this one is just so adorable and i think it was 20 dollars and this, honestly, you could put this with a white dress. You could put this with a black dress or like an army green dress. This is just adorable. And the heel is small. So I definitely recommend this one, you guys. Now, honey, this one, I had such high hopes for this shoe. And it did not work out whatsoever. This shoe, I got in size eight and a half. And I did take a picture in this shoe. But for some reason, my foot is just not fitting in here. This part is not wide foot friendly. So if you have a narrow foot, I definitely recommend you get this shoe. If you have a wide foot like me, you probably going to have some issues. And the main issue is that since your foot doesn't slide in here all the way, it doesn't get the support it needs right in this middle area. And I have a high arch, so I can't be playing myself. Um, other than that, I love the print on this shoe. I think it's so pretty. Um, I will put a, a photo in here of um, me and the shoe with my dress and like my little headband on that I got from Shine. But other than that, if you don't have a wide foot, totally go for it. If you do, then try to find something similar. I want to thank you guys again for sticking tuned and watching this video. And as always, please subscribe, like, share with your friends, comment below if there's any things you think I should buy and try on. And I will be back next time with another haul. Maybe not from Shine, but probably from ASOS. So I will see you guys then.